What would you do if your gaming machine overheated? We've seen every solution from adding extra fans to cracking open the bottom panel to far sketchier methods than those. But what if one of the world's most skilled and apparently insane teams of engineers was presented with this problem? Well, you might end up with a solution that looks a little something like this. Meet the ASUS GX800, the world's most powerful water-cooled laptop. We're opening up a new merch store. You can check out some of our new gear today at the link in the video description. The first things you'll notice taking the two pieces of the GX800 out of the included backpack and travel case are one. This laptop comes in two pieces. More on that later. And two, it looks flippin' badass. The matte black palm rests, metal accents, and strategically positioned lighting effects give it every bit as premium a feel and look as you'd expect for its whopping $6,000 price tag. Coming around the back is where things get really interesting though. These quick connect fittings allow the GX800 to be easily docked and undocked from the included external water cooling unit. So going from portable to performance takes less than 10 seconds. Place the laptop down on these two pins, then push down here to lock and load. Once engaged, the docking station, thanks to its second power brick, doubles the available power to 660 watts and engages the pump and radiator fans, turning this beast from a fox that might steal your chickens to like one of these things. But what could be in this machine to warrant all of this extra power and cooling? Well, two overclocked GTX 1080 graphics cards and SLI, you donk. What do you think there was gonna be in there? Mobile hardware? And the rest of the specs of this thing are absolutely banging too. It's rocking three M.2 drives in RAID 0 for one terabyte of blazing fast solid state storage, 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and a Core i7 7820HK that's overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz out of the box. IO is similarly impressive with just about everything you could want, including Thunderbolt 3, DisplayPort, and this funky network antenna extendo thing. So you could have like mad dope AF internet, even when you're not plugged in or whatever they were trying to do with that. And all of that power won't be wasted on a monitor that can't take advantage of it. The GX800 has an 18 inch 4K 60 Hertz G-Sync IPS display, which comes with all the benefits you might expect. Super sharp image quality in games and 4K videos, along with great viewing angles and variable refresh rate technology that makes lower frame rates appear smoother to the eye while eliminating screen tearing. Not that you'll be running into low frame rates very often. The way this laptop stomped on everything we threw at it at ultra details at 4K resolution is nothing short of amazing, with the terrain in Rise of the Tomb Raider looking proper stunning. I mean, so did everything else. But what really sets it apart from the other balls to the wall laptops that we've checked out recently is that the GX800 is surprisingly good as a traditional laptop when it's undocked. While it is a little on the chubby side, it's not leg crushingly heavy like the Predator 21X and the large properly positioned trackpad responds well with nice satisfying clicks on the discrete right and left buttons. It might look a little bit over the top if you roll up to the library and whip out one of these things, but if you need on the go productivity or gaming, it is usable for a little while. The mechanical style keyboard is reasonably comfortable to type and game on. 
but it doesn't use cherry key switches like the Predator 21X, so the feel will be mushier and less consistent. I did find myself making more errors than usual. With that said, the nearly standard layout and the full number pad are nice touches. But let's move on then from the practical aspects of this beast and focus on answering the question you've all been waiting for. How the actual F does water cooling in a laptop work? Well, we're gonna have to pop off the bottom to see. And would you look at that? The GX800 not only has a full air cooling setup with six heat pipes and two fans, it also has this absolutely bonkers, fully custom water cooling loop. But there's some bad news in here. Unlike some high-end laptops, the GX800's GTX 1080s are soldered to the motherboard, meaning that there's no swapping them out in the event of a failure or for something else down the road. Though it should be noted that everything about this laptop is top of the line and it's unusual for future graphics cards on laptops anyway to be supported by the existing cooling system. But can water cooling make enough of a difference in a laptop to compensate for those drawbacks? To answer that, we'll be comparing performance docked and undocked against a full-on desktop with similar hardware. And... hmm. It seems in our testing, the extra juice, both water juice and power juice, well, it doesn't make as big of a difference as you might expect, with us observing about a 10% increase in performance on the maximum performance profile in ASUS's software. This might make the dock's usefulness seem highly questionable, but I also have to point out that it makes the machine heaps quieter. Without the dock, it's like every other Uber laptop, louder than a tuba recital in the apartment above you. But when it's docked, it calms down. I mean, I wouldn't call it silent, but it's low roar isn't overly distracting. There is some more bad news though. Our GPUs ended up in the mid 60s under load on water cooling, which is great. But for some reason, the cooling solution couldn't quite seem to keep up with our CPU, with thermal throttling kicking in under heavy load in ASUS's extreme, you know, feed it power till it burns profile. I suspect that this was a conscious effort that was made to direct cooling to the GPUs, because during gaming, it's unlikely that the CPU will hit full load. And so we didn't actually experience this thermal throttling in any of our gaming tests, but if you wanted to use this thing as a video editing powerhouse, you might want to uh, make some adjustments. We were able to mitigate the problem to a degree by creating our own less aggressive overclock profile at 4.2 gigahertz, which as disappointing as that might be, it should still be noted, is the fastest we've ever seen one of these mobile processors by 100 megahertz. Making then the GX800 by every measure the fastest, quietest gaming laptop we've ever tested while docked with the flexibility to carry most of its 4K gaming experience with you in a sort of normal sized backpack. So it comes down then to price and bulk. Would you spend $6,000 for the privilege of owning one of these? Let us know in the comments below. Squarespace lets you, yes you, build your own gorgeous website. All you do is head over to their site, we've got it linked in the video description, you pick one of their gorgeous templates, and for just 12 bucks a month, they even throw in a free domain if you buy it for the year, you can get started. All the configuration, you just kinda put your pictures there, you put your text there, you figure out how you want the navigation to work, and boom. Super simple, it's all cloud-based, and just in case you find it difficult, 
That's no problem. They've got free 24 seven tech support via live chat and email. And they've got tons of great features. Anyone can set up like a, a one page online presence in a matter of minutes. You can publish content in Apple news format directly from the Squarespace blog module. And you can start your trial with no credit card required and start building your website today by going to squarespace.com slash LTT and using code LTT to get 10% off your first purchase. So thanks for watching, guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured at Amazon in the video description. If the uh, price tag's a little high, there's also a link to where you can buy cool shirts like this one. And there's a link to our community forum, which you can join for absolutely free. Woo!